begin here at 5 with that five alarm fire that's displaced hundreds of people from a Queens apartment building. It started around noon in Sunnyside, but crews are still out there right now. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis joins us live with what we know so far. Jenna? Well, Maurice and Jessica, the FDNY says a total of 14 people were treated with non-life-threatening injuries, including a firefighter who's in serious but stable condition. Now, it looks like the flames are out at this time, but you can see it's a massive scene still out here with streets closed, and the FDNY has been out here for hours. I feel bad for the people that lost their apartment, to be honest. I've never seen something like this. This longtime resident is in shock watching firefighters take on this fire at his 47th Avenue apartment building. He was home around noon when the fire broke out and prioritized saving his neighbor's dog. I had to hound the super for his keys. So we, we actually had to sneak in and I opened his apartment and I got the dog out. I'm indebted to him forever. Oscar St. Clemente, now reunited with his dog Otis, was at work when this all happened and is hoping his neighbors are okay. So I'm just kind of now just praying that everyone, everyone is okay after this because there's definitely going to be a lot of damage. Uh, unfortunately, a very heavy fire damage throughout the building, either from the fire condition uh, or from the uh, water that was applied. The FDNY says they were met with a heavy fire, which quickly escalated in this six story apartment building which has more than 100 units. It's a very large E-shaped building. Um, it has four main wings, uh, A through D. Um, our main fire was in the middle wings, the uh, B and C wing. Adding to the challenge for firefighters who could be seen relentlessly fighting the fire. Our cat saved us. Our cat. Shelly Pfeiffer Torres and her husband say their cat kept going to the door, indicating something was wrong. For some weird reason, when he went to the door, we heard all this noise. We look at the people and we see like uh, a very large amount of firemen coming upstairs. They grabbed essentials and rushed out, notifying neighbors too. Among the estimated 450 residents who live here and are out of their home ahead of the holiday. We don't have anywhere to go tonight. Neighbors watched nervously as a cat sat on a window ledge close to flames and rejoiced once a rescue was made. <laughs> The Red Cross and the city's emergency management set up a reception center at the Children's Lab School for displaced residents. The FDNY says they plan to be out here for quite some time, and it will be a while before the cause is determined. We're live in Sunnyside, Queens. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. Okay, Jenna, thank you.